All right, today's video, we're going to talk about Jalen Hyatt. And again, welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. And if you're first time here and you like the content, please hit the like button. If you really like it and want to be here when we drop more, subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when we drop this draft content for 2023. And again, Jalen Hyatt, let's get into his stats before we get into the film. Uh, as a freshman, he had 20 catches, 276 yards, two TDs. Sophomore, 21 catches, 222 yards and 10, I'm sorry, two TDs, not 10. It was 10.8 yards per catch with two TDs. This junior season, which was an extreme breakout season, um, Tennessee got stuff in place that, where they used his speed, and his speed kind of set their whole scheme up. Didn't It made it real hard for me to scout him based off what they did, but what they did really helped Tennessee. And this year he had 67 catches, 1,267 yards, and 15 touchdowns. 15, including five versus Alabama when they – they beat Bama this year. Let's get into the film and see what we can see from Jalen Hyatt. So on this play, Alabama is, one of, is in one of their staple coverages. And um, I forget what they call it, but the gist of it is that outside guy, you see where the, the two circles are, is man-to-man -man coverage. They He has that man-to-man man, -man coverage. Hyatt, who's in the slot, is going to – well, let me talk about the defense first. Those three guys right there are really going to try to box in, so to speak. And they have rules, and I forget, you know, the complete rules in it, but it's kind of like palms. They're really going to play palms on the uh, two inside receivers while that outside uh, receiver and DB – is man to man. And those are the two guys they're going to play palms on. And you see the linebacker trying to starting to slide out as the motion came through. And you see number 10 is looking at the basically the new number one receiver. And he's going to play off him. You see the other corner is now looking at the number two receiver, which is here. But what Hyde is going to do is kind of play the rules against themselves. He's going to come like he's running the post and he's just going to split those two guys. And now at this point, there's probably nobody in college football that can keep up with him. Probably. Blur over the top. All right, for this next play, yeah, one on one with no help. He's one on one with this safety here. Um, got man at the bottom, and he's really in a situation where. The safety, he's kind of, you know, at his mercy. And there's not a lot of nuance to this route. It's an out and up. You don't see a, a, a great out, but he's just so fast and he has so much room to work with that he runs away from the safety. See, this is a really a half-hearted out. Safety, he reacts to it, but he don't really try to break on it hard. And then he just outruns him. Because at this point right here, right they're, they're even, and y'all know the rest. If the receiver's even, I'm leaving. And he put a roll run on him. Beep, beep. And if you don't know the roll runner, you're too young. That might be what I need to nickname this cat, the roll runner. All right, his next play. Got him at the bottom of your screen. And they got a, a stack formation so he can get a free release, which is, is potent for him because we'll talk about it later. And then you're going to see the, you know, as they get the shifts in, the free safety is going to rotate to the middle of the field, which is the wide side of the field now because they're in the boundary to the bottom, which is going to give him more room to operate. And now at this point with that free safety way over there, you just got to be fast because he got one-on-one -on -one with the safety for the most part, and the free safety can't really get back. He gets a good ball. At this point, it's, it's a wrap. <laughs> Again, I don't know of very many people in CFP, um, the college football period, that's my CFP that can catch him. It's it's a, it's amazing how fast he is. And how fast he looks once he gets the ball in his hand, too. All right, this next play. Hyatt's in the at the bottom in the slot. And you're gonna get a play action glance. And it's really initially I thought this was an RPO, but it's not. And you can tell it's not an RPO because look at the pullers. And they don't really go upfield and attack like it's, if it's a run. Because if it was a run, they would have to get in a hole and get upfield on those linebackers. But you see them pull and give the the look of, of power or counter. And that's going to bring 
the safety in the middle. And the safety is the read. So by bringing him down in the box to defend the run, you get an open alley right behind his head, right in that spot. Remember, he's not going to be there. And all Hyatt has to do is run that glance in there and win. He has to make sure he gets inside, which he does. It's a good catch. Very underrated hands. Very underrated hands from, from Hyatt. All right, on this play right here, versus Kentucky now, you get a stack formation again, and that stack formation is going to give him an opportunity to get a free release. But also that stack formation creates confusion. And you'll see here in a second where both the outside linebacker and the DB jump the inside route. You see both of their eyes on that route, and it's going to allow Hyatt to get up the sideline free. And at this point, the linebacker was like, hey, bro, somebody. Help me, please. I have no reason I should be on this fast dude by myself. Help me. Help me. Help me. Please help me. Sound like he, um, the guy from next Friday when the thugs was jumping him and took his donuts. Help me. Help me, please. Holy moly donut shop. This play is another post wheel combo. And they did this to Kentucky because uh, it seems like their DBs were undisciplined and you got a lot of free Free, well, not free, but busted coverages. And, you know, he took advantage of it. Took advantage of it. Like, in the boundary, too. The linebacker can't do anything with that. The safety goes with the post or the dig. It's just simple. It's easy. It's too easy for him. And on this play, he's going to get a a 1v1 versus the safety. And look how far off the safety is because you got to respect his speed. And, um... A little nuance in this because, you know, he gets to a certain point, he closes the cushion, and the safety doesn't know if he's going to run the corner, going to run a post. So he sticks his right foot in the ground like he's, like he's going to run that corner and then cuts it back in on the post. And it's real subtle because he's so fast, bam, right there. And the safety really can't react to it because he had a two-way go. His, because he's so fast and he, he can run routes, they just don't ask him to run a lot of different routes. And you see it right here, watch him. Uh, stick that foot in the ground, then the DB got to react to that. He got to react to it, which made him flat-footed, and then he peeks at the QB, too, and it's kind of over at this point. That, that slip definitely didn't help, but even if he don't slip, it, it's a wrap. He's inside on him, got a good ball that laid him out in front of him, and a good hands catcher. And, and it is what it is, but let, let's get to the scores on, on Jalen Hyde. All right, as far as his scores go, let's give it a run through. And again, everything's based off 80, 80 being the, the top score. Hands, 76. Uh, I saw maybe three drop balls in the games I watched, uh, period. And, and and one may have been contested. So let's just say two drop balls. Um, routes and releases. From what I saw, you know, the routes they asked him to run, he he pretty much ran them well. It wasn't very much as far as a route tree. He, he had He ran the post. He ran a go, he ran the uh, dig, and he ran a curl slash hitch. That's for the most part. That's all I saw him run. So I can't really knock him that bad on the routes that they required him to run. His IQ, IQ, he got a seventy four, and that's because when he did run those routes, you could see him adjust them based off where safeties were or corners were. And so I liked what he did in that regards. Game speed, you think his game speed will be eighty across the board, but there were times where. He knew he wasn't getting the ball, and there were loafs. He kind of half heartedly ran the route. And so that's why his scores are 71 there. And then on Yak, I think Yak may be his worst ability, but he all, he got a lot of good abilities. I'm not saying he's bad at Yak, but as far as the, what I looked at, Yak was the worst trait, and he had a 69 there. Because even though he's fast, I didn't see a lot of wiggle, especially in the Pittsburgh game when he got a lot of balls. There was not a lot of wiggle. He'd, get the, he'd catch the ball, and it was not a lot of making people miss. Total score, 72 flat. Jalen Hyatt, 72 flat, which puts him right now, and I've only done three receivers as the number two receiver behind Quentin Johnson, only by one point. Quentin had a 73. But I really like what I saw to Jalen. I think there's more than what is on film from Jalen Hyatt. Tennessee didn't ask him to do a lot. It was just be fast. Be fast, and I don't want to label him as a one-trick pony, but his the one trick that he has on film is freaking awesome. 
you can see DBs panic when he ran go routes. Some games they would just grab him because in college football, the the pass interference is on the 15 yards and he get on them and close the cushion so quick. The DBs would just grab it. But I, I like the kid. I just don't know how well he could how well he can run the multitude of routes that's going to be required in the NFL because Tennessee didn't ask him to do them. And that's not no, that's not his fault. That's not Tennessee's fault because Tennessee's job is to win games and they ask him to do things to help them win games. But his his it's going to be a cloud over him because he could be really good or he could be really bad because we don't know how well he can run routes. I know he can change direction very good, and that's always a key element to running routes. But we didn't see a bunch of routes to have a full picture of what he can do route-wise. And again, I appreciate you guys for coming through. His final score was 72, which puts him at number two at this point. I also have a a document where you can go see all the numbers from each prospect I've done. And that document, the link to the document will be in the description. So again, I appreciate you guys for coming through. Like, comment, subscribe. If you like the content, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me watching the Speedy, a.k.a. Roadrunner, Jalen Hyatt. See you guys soon. Peace. With the, 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 with